also in the same vein, Dingo, Southern Dingo, who is a co-host for the Ralph Retort, uh, published a 30-minute long call recorded between Dingo and Ralph during the time that Faith was in a mental hospital. She committed herself. And Ralph called up Dingo and essentially just told him, um, this bitch is going to cause me a lot of problems and I'm going to take her back just so I can get her to shut the fuck up. I'm going to keep her in her wraps. Um, he says that he only takes her back because he's afraid of going to jail. And there's like 30 minutes of this. I can't play it all, but I'll play a couple clips. Uh, Ralph um, forced her to give him access to every one of her accounts. Everything was he had access to. Uh, uh, Dingo advises Ralph to put a keylogger on Faith's phone or computer to basically monitor every single keystroke that she types so that even if she deletes something, uh, you can still see that it was typed in the keylogger. Um, Dingo also says that you should treat every call like it's being recorded, which is very funny because he was recording their call. Uh, Ralph responds, by the way, to Dingo saying that you should use a keylogger on her devices by saying, oh yeah, I've done that before. So I don't know if that was Nora's phone or whoever's phone, but he put a keylogger in some others, some girl's phone before because he's fucking psychotic. Um, Dingo uh, explicitly says that he would only, like, because Faith, you know, what's his face? Uh, Vickers, Ralph Two. What's his first name? Mr.? <laughs> Mr. Vickers. Mr. Vickers said something like, I'll disown you if you don't come back home right away. And then uh, Ralph says, I'm calling his bluff because he's a retard, which is true. That's a retarded thing to say. He's obviously not going to disown his his daughter. Um, and then Dingo says, yeah, I'd, I'd never disown one of my own flesh and blood unless he was a faggot or uh, I think a coal burner. It's a, the coal or being gay. That's that's Dingo's limit. And then Ralph concurs with this, which is pretty base, I guess. There's a very specific line that you all need to hear because it's just so incredibly awkward that if I didn't play it for you, I would be remiss. Um, but yeah, man, that's my life right now, so it's kind of crazy. I'm hoping tomorrow, like I know this is going to be a handful. It's basically like adopting an unruly child almost, um, except she'll be sucking my dick. But uh... just the most awkward thing you could ever possibly say, yeah, my girlfriend is kind of like an adopted child that sucks my dick. Wonderful. Beautiful. <laughs> That's that southern charm just shining on through. <laughs> oh, and then he talks about how he has to make sure that she can't read the Kiwi Farms because if she reads the Kiwi Farms, he knows that she will find out that he was not hacked and he did that on his own, that he published the revenge pornography. The only reason why she went back to him after going to the mental hospital uh, was that she was told that he was hacked and that's how the porn of her got leaked. And when in reality, he, he sent it himself to piss off his her ex, ex-boyfriend. Dude, everything got so great. Like, I would come home and I would snap at my wife for nothing, dude. It's because I was dude. just mad. Dude, this shit has caused problems in my relationships. Yeah. Ask my ex-wife about it. Like, oh, I would just be in a fucking shitty-ass mood because of all this shit going on. And, you know, a good 70 to 90% of it is shit that I could have just ignored. Like, okay, they're talking retarded shit. They're always going to be talking retarded shit. Ignore it. Nothing you can say, and I know this intellectually, by the way. Nothing you can say is going to make them stop or make them stop lying. So why even... I don't, who cares? Um, but then I'll start thinking, oh, what if somebody sees this? I need to prove it wrong. No, you don't. You don't need to prove them wrong. Just block them and forget they ever fucking existed. That's honestly and, the best thing you could possibly do. Dude, it's so, it's, man. And I did that for months. And then I just got out of the habit. Um, the whole, the whole conspiracy bullshit they started got me back reading Kiwi Farms. And it's just been the what? nothing ever since. That shit that PPP tried to start about a new project, too. Um, so I started reading again to, like, try to keep up with what they're doing. But all of the, you know what? You know, that's worthless, though. Because all that does is suck you right back into their 
their fucking like negativity warp. Yeah. Um, and you know what else and, it does? Uh, so that's them saying that they have to like ban people who are like ignore haters or block people in the streams. Um, and uh, and so on. I have I have more clips. I'm gonna play these clips as well because they're interesting. He said I have to have you know control of all your devices and all this and that. So like he had to have con control to be able to log into her social media accounts and all of her computers and everything else. So like everybody who thinks that Ralph tweets from the pedophile horses Twitter account. God, it's. I remember when Dingo first showed up. Ranbot had just cut ties. Ranbot, of course, being the dumbest motherfucker on the internet, one of the lowest IQ individuals I've ever fucking seen. He figured out that Ralph was no good, cuts ties, and now has his own little cult of, like, wig gnats on posts that think that he's worth listening to. It's really bizarre. Um, but Dingo showed up, and I remember Dingo and Ralph were, were listening to chat. And they're reading chat and calling out posts on the chat, and they were just interacting with the Kiwi Farms chat. And I said, um, I was there, and I said something like, Dingo, you realize there's going to come a time where Ralph is going to snake on you just like he snaked on everybody else. And, um, like, you, you know what's coming, but, like, what the fuck is it that draws you in? Why are you doing this? And he's like, yeah, that's just um, what you think. And I, I know something, a little something called loyalty. I know what loyalty is, and I have trust in my fellow Hwat man, not that a snake Jew like you would know what that means. And he's just, like, talking down to me and wondering, why you spend so much of your time focusing on Ralph? Get your own shit to do. And it's like, okay, whatever, bro. So I've, I've mostly ignored Dingo because I don't know anything about him. And to his credit, he seems much nicer and much more normal than uh, Ranbot is. So there's less to make fun of, and he's less aggravating and worth making fun of. Um, but then uh, apparently that shit did sink in close to heart because he's been recording Ralph's call. So even people that like Ralph at this point know that they have to record um, their, their every conversation with him. And carry it around like the president's nuclear briefcase as just a uh, just in case just in case there's a nuclear strike we got to go full mad and we got to destroy ralph too so very bizarre and then of course as soon as he publishes this it's total war between him and ralph ralph says um and he's calling may a pedophile horse the the, the fiance the permanent fiance girlfriend never wife the never wife of ralph um and it's just like, okay, so you're already on that narrative immediately. As soon as as soon as you're done with Ralph, then she's the pedophile horse. She's not me anymore. It's just bizarre. These people are really bizarre. I'm glad I don't have to navigate these bizarre, retarded, interpersonal relationships that they do. Talking about May, of course? You're correct. That's apparently one of the rules that he makes up with women who uh, have, you know, who, who make the bad decision to hang around him, right? Um, so there you go, yeah. Ralph does control these women like you thought he did. That's the plan, Dingo. Baked Alaska is a really retarded. Um, yeah, I, I mean, he's actually stupid. Like, I, I don't say that. It's like I can tell. I but. mean, he's just not. He's not that bright. Like, I mean, just dim as fuck. I don't really think he always understands social interactions too. Like watching him in a crowd and talking to people like Dick and stuff. Uh. He he, flat out like because what the full context for that is that Bake said some shit about his revenge pornography case or his revenge porn case, and he was making comments about it that pissed Ralph off. And he just says that, and you know he thinks that's true because Baked is fucking stupid. Baked is low IQ. You listen to Baked talk, and you listen to him interact with people, and you just think like there's nothing going on. Bake has enough, like of a um outward going personality to kind of keep what he needs around him to continue doing his thing but he doesn't have any other like brain power to him it's all he has like five points of skill they're all in charisma he's not particularly charismatic but he's charismatic enough to make that his living and then in every other way he just falls completely flat um, I guess he has a couple points in, in ass as well and that's that's his secondary skill and then he talk. Then Ralph, of course, talks about how his penis is actually really big. Even if it, I, you know, I, it looks longer, you know, when you see it for real. But you know, anyway, um, it's clearly just a regular dick. It looks longer when you see it for real. Hang on. 
Let's hear that gym again. Holy shit. Even if it, uh, you know, I, it looks longer, you know, when you see it for real, but yeah. You know. It looks longer when you see it for real. That Actually, I think I should play the original because this is like Dingo doing a um, commentary over the the recording. And there is, I have the original right here. Let's see, 30 minutes exactly they talk about because Dingo says something like, I, I don't want to say something as gay as this, but it's weird how they talk about your dick all the time. And it's like, well, it's really funny, Dingo. I know exactly what you're thinking and what you're saying, and it's strange to me, too. Especially when you can sit there and see, even if it, I, you know, I, it looks longer, you know, when you see it for real. But, you know, anyway, um, it's clearly just a regular dick. But yeah, it's just a normal years, dick. So you know what? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. But you know what? Like, four years ago, actually, yeah, well, it was five years ago, these people who used to fuck with me during Gamergate, um, just one day woke up and just put some fake somebody else's dick pic out. It was like a micro penis picture, and just said it was my dick pic, and like just said, "Oh, that's Ralph's dick pic. We just found it." Like with no type of background or proof or anything, they said this is Ralph's dick pic, and so they tried to they tried to make that stick on me for years that I have a micro penis. Like this is the thing they try to say, and so then the sex tape comes out. Clearly, I don't have a micro penis. But he's wrong. So invested that, in the there, there was no. I know exactly what he's talking about because Brian Dunn was the one that posted that shit all the time, and it, it circulated a lot on Cal back in the day when uh, H M was still around, and uh, they were doing their big streams on YouTube and shit still, and it, it um, it's very small and it's about as big as Ralph's penis was in the fucking sex tape. So I don't, I really don't know. He copes about the weirdest shit, like how tall he is and how big his penis is. Like we've seen your penis. It's very small. And we've seen you standing next to people and you're shorter than every other person that you've ever stood next to, including the women. So I don't know how fucking tall you are. You can say that you're five foot four or five foot one or five foot 10 or five foot 11 or six foot 10. It really does not matter because when you're in the room, you're the shortest motherfucker there. And when you when you leak revenge porn of yourself, you have like a little thimble sticking out from your fat. So you can you can say it's twenty inches long. You can measure you know from your butthole to the tip, like some people do. But you know you, you, the, the the perception is there, and that doesn't lie. Anyways, uh, so Faith uh, con uh, tweets about this as well, and that pisses him off. Uh, Faith says, obviously over time I've accepted that Ralph never loved or cared about me and I was just a tool to him, but to hear him so casually admit it and talk about it like it's normal terrifies me looking back at it. I sincerely hope he can't abuse and, and can't abuse and use another teenager. Jesus fucking Christ. The ultrasound pictures. Oh, that's a reply. He also checked my tablet once a week, had to watch me log into stuff to prove my password was what I said it was. All of it worked to scare me into complete submission. I wasn't allowed to talk about the RP with my parents. I wasn't allowed to even look at his own Twitter to get the ultrasound pictures or to look at them. He never even gave me those back to me, even though they are from my, they're my medical records. He also said to look in my notebook whenever I wrote, saw whatever I drawed in my sketchbook, like prison shit. I hated it. And since I didn't get to play the, this clip, I might as well play this as well. Um, 720. I'm dead serious, brother. Uh, and so I'm going to take the one picture. We already agreed she's off social media, which is a big part of me even, like, even with the charge hanging on my head, I was like, you got to get off social media altogether, period. Um, and I have to have access to all your accounts and all that. So, um, like even the other account, like whatever, email, all that shit, like, I don't care. Um, so that's the plan, Dingo. I know it's, this might sound insane, but the, the key is this, make it be her idea. Don't throw her out. If she wants to go, let her go. And then even just having her with me, it being proved that she was with me after and that we you know, the pictures out there, all these texts, all this stuff is huge. It, like, if something ever went to court or something like that, it would be huge. Even yeah. just that happening. So, so funny. Um, you know, her, yeah, that would be huge. 
even if I didn't have her on tape saying whatever I needed her to say, just us getting back <laughs> together, the optics of that, most prosecutors would not even touch the case. You know what's, be like, She's full of shit. You know what's really funny? I, I posted this, but now that I hear this again, I, I laugh again. Um, it's really fucking funny how Dingo had this recording of him essentially admitting that he's going to manipulate this into a win. He's going to extort her into making a video saying whatever the fuck he wants, and he's going to keep her around just long enough to make it look like on its face there was a real relationship and yada, yada, yada. Dingo had this. If this recording was in court, he would have fucking gone to jail for revenge pornography. And uh, Faith Faith wouldn't have had to, to deal with him taking that bullshit plea agreement that he got at the last second because her recording was too low quality to be entered in as evidence against him. Uh, if you don't know, the only reason why he got a plea deal, they were taken to court, um, he got a very favorable plea deal because at the very end of the um, the legal process of getting to court, the judge ruled last second that a recording of... of of Ralph talking to Faith was too low quality to identify Ralph in. So that evidence was thrown out. This evidence would have definitely helped um, Faith get more than what she got out of him. And Dingo held on to this until months after the, the court shit was over, until it pleased him to release it. So he doesn't. He also does not give a fuck about anything besides himself. It's really, it's really quite sad. 